1980, I came to United States pursuing my master's degree. 1982, I started selling $5 digital watch in the flea market. If I make $20 a day, I was happy because $20 to me is I have a food and gas money. I met my wife in Flushing. We both working very hard day and night and selling gold jewelry in the flea market. We opened our first jewelry and watch store on Long Island. But I have a vision. My vision is Flushing. Flushing is largest Chinese community in the East Coast. Chinese are very loyal name brand and they are spending buying luxury goods. So 10 years ago, I had an opportunity to open a large scale jewelry store on, on the downtown Flushing. Today, I'm very proud of my three children. They are running the day-to-day -day business. Growing up, I saw how hard like my parents worked and I saw how much like their business meant to them and how much they put into it that it made me want to f like help them out. I graduated from Carnegie Mellon University and the business was really starting to pick up to where it is today so I joined at that time to help out and I never really left after that. It's been really a blessing in disguise to work with my family just because you develop these really raw and honest relationships that you mostly won't develop if you weren't working with your family. I remember one day I was driving to work and I get a call from my dad. He's like, hey, you know, Derek, um, would you consider like coming back home to New York? Because I was in Florida at the time. And uh, I was like, okay, like what's going on? And he was like, oh, you know, your mom, Lisa, she just got cancer. I remember like pulling over and I, I was like crying in my car and then I just emailed my boss right away like, hey, I got a family emergency, I gotta head home. I stayed home with my mom to help take care of her and unfortunately in December of 2015, she passed away from a rare cancer. I got to see like through her life, like how much energy and work she put into the business with my dad. And if I don't come into the business, it would have been for nothing. Like, I, I can't let that happen because, you know, my mom's not asking me, but I should do it because it's the right thing now. So definitely there's a generational gap. I mean, we always butt heads, like almost every day. I feel like you have your moments where you fight and you're just, but like when you fight, it's different from fighting with your coworkers or something. It's just more like it's your family, but then maybe 10, 10 minutes later, you're like, you forgive each other and you're like, okay, I'm calm. I, I understand what you say. You know, we always joke with my dad. He's like, you know, when I was your age, I used to do everything in the store. And we're always like, yeah, but dad, now we're like doing everything you did. Plus we have the speed of the internet of people reaching out to us, contacting us. Everything is like much faster. Yeah, I think he's definitely more open to new ideas now. Um, I think the goal for us is to just do it and if it succeeds, then he's open to it. And if it doesn't succeed, then we try something else. New video tonight showing the moment a man shoved a 52-year-old woman to the ground outside a bakery in Queens, causing her to hit her head so hard she needed at least a half dozen stitches. We are Chinese, but we are also American. And we work here, we work hard, we pay taxes. We are American. It's definitely been really terrifying to see um, all the crimes that's on the news and it's really heartbreaking to see the attacks especially on the elderly. If I ride the train I'm really worried and I also think not just for other people but like if something happens to someone am I prepared to jump in? We see celebrities like we see Daniel Day Kim and Olivia Munn they're coming together and talking about Stop Asian Hate and they have huge voices and I think that not just from them, but also from our local community, like stores like us, we need to speak up. We've been here for a long time and we're part of the history of this country. And that what we bring is pretty much our culture and our food and you know all the good things that everyone loves to experience. And we just want to get back to that time. 
especially as an Asian American, you don't really see many Asian American jewelry stores that actually get passed down to generations. So um, that's something I definitely want for our family and for this community. And also, like there's been so many restaurants been uh, coming up, and like a lot of people have been discovering like flushing and flushing growing bigger as a community. So it's been great to see that, and I think that our store has definitely helped make that impact to make all the changes, the new changes that are coming in. This is my American dream. I want to be successful, and I want my uh, children continuing running the business, make Carrot and Co more powerful and make a customer happy, that's our goal. I don't think I've ever told him, but my goal for him is I want him to live comfortably and not worry about work or anything and just let us take all the stress and worries. You know, he works so hard and he deserves to just enjoy his life.